Hello, I am Lauren Blair Donovan. This is Creepy and Kooky Cali Vlog. We are here at Pacific View Mortuary Park in not quite Long Beach. It's like Corona Del Rey, is that right? I couldn't tell you. I just jumped in the car and I she trusted Newport, me. Newport she Beach? trusted me. Is that right? Maybe. Maybe. Prove us wrong. She shouldn't trust me. She shouldn't. I don't know where we are. Uh, ge Geography is not my strong suit. We already know this, but what you might not know, this is Kristen Lucas. And how do you feel? How do you I, like I, being here? I am very impressed. I'm from a small town and oh, so I well. did hang out in cemeteries, um, but I've We're never nice. seen a cemetery this big, this manicured, this posh. To me, it's Ooh. very posh. Like. It, well, I guess I, I have seen cemeteries that are different, but this is definitely the biggest. And anytime there's something called a mausoleum, which is a tall standing thing, I'm like... We're like back here. Yeah, like yeah. in the back of us. I'm like, wow. Wow. I didn't grow up with mausoleums. I don't think so. I, mean, I don't. I think it was just old very, school colonial day cemeteries very in great. historic Pennsylvania. Just some graves. Yeah. I mean, just like, hey, you know, when we go, you see the name. You see, I mean... For me, like the cemetery is a place where you're supposed to kind of connect with this, like the, spend this time with a person that you care for, or make you know make up stories. But it's also like even if you don't know them, you're kind of like you're wondering about their life. And I don't know. I don't know that. It's why we're friends. It's why we're friends. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've said this in every video. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you're um, if you go to a cemetery, I don't know that like and you know, I know you don't have believe in the afterlife in such a way, but if you do believe in the afterlife, like I don't think that you're like hanging out in a cemetery, <laughs> even though like Probably that is the not. place where you're like, oh hey. Although I have on. said in another video, if I'm wrong, I hope I am, and that's why I want to be buried in a famous California cemetery. Yeah. So I can hang out with like movie stars from the 1930s and ask them questions. Oh yeah, yeah. I if can have new friends. Stuck, new friends. <laughs> if you're stuck where you're buried forever, goodness. <laughs> that would be depressing yeah. I, yeah it wouldn't but that's why I'm like let's choose the least depressing let's choose old Hollywood glamour <laughs> I'm bougie like that but no I, I agree if there is an afterlife I don't think it's on top of the cemetery yeah I don't like, think any religion supports that either <laughs> I don't think they're like and then they live in the cemetery and for, then they for hang ever. out they haunt you but I don't know I definitely feel like time is, is very little understood on this plane and there's a lot going oh, on it's invented. yes <laughs> and you can like get places in a different way whenever you whenever you become a spirit gas form of yourself I think well here's a question for you yeah I think you're one of the more religious people I've oh. had on here like most Catholic, are heathens sorry. like me most are heathens like me but like okay point received okay there's no afterlife hanging out right next to us but if someone Maybe. that you love goes to visit you, yeah, do they come back to the cemetery to hear what you're saying to them? I think so. Or is there like a portal or like a TV oh, I screen? I think you can be in a lot of places afterwards. Okay. I think okay. you can watch different people and you can, you know, be there for them energetically. Um, yeah, I think so. Nice. I like that thought. I like, yeah. All of this, I would love to be wrong. I don't, I'm a control freak, <laughs> so I don't want to cease to exist. That scares yeah, me to my very core. Scary. So I'm down with that. Yeah. But yeah, we know each other from comedy. I've known you for almost four years now, which yeah. is wild. That, I've known you almost the entire time I've been out here. And neither of us is aged today. Not at all. <laughs> she was one of my first friends. CF. She brought me on to uh, her, your, your long running all girl comedy team. Yeah. Sketching and improv. Up scrolls. That was such a fun little thing to get invited onto this long running thing. Oh. I was like, no. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so, thank you. Now yes. I'm taking you to a cemetery. As yes. thanks. Yes, we, <laughs> which works I, for us. It's, appreci it's much appreciated. It actually was. It's been a lovely day. Yes, and also as always, we got Lady Grimaldi who's just hanging. Hi, I'm talking Ooh, about it's you over here. Yeah. Do you want to give it a mug? Oh <laughs> yes, work. <laughs> She's just hanging out. She's like, she's, she's this is my star. life. I hang out in cemeteries with my human. <laughs> the past four months, we've been to a million. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I only had her for four months. So yeah, you know Kristen. You know Aunt Kristen. So, all right, we will get started. See you soon.
because you're happy and also creepy, you know? I know. We are, we don't know where we are. We thought we serendipitously found Kobe Bryant's grave. Um, findagrave.com does not know where he's at, but we found photos and it looked like this, but upon investigation, what are your thoughts? Don't think so. The internet lies to you, it turns out. <laughs> there is a grave. Kelly Lee Tarantello, who died, what, like? 2019. Yeah, like four months before Kobe. Um, considering the placement of the headstone, I don't think that- It's supposed to be a family plot. And it's supposed to be a family plot, and she looks like she's occupying the relative middle left. So like, it's just not adding up. I wonder where this urban legend came from that this is Kobe's. Like Probably why? the timing. Mm -hmm. And the, the timing. And the decor. But the young one, lady. I wonder though where, I wonder though. I feel like there's gotta be more to it. Because you know? <laughs> it's like, people are like, oh, this is a new grave. Let's yes. just put yellow and purple flowers. And that's what the media ran away with? Like, you I think don't that's know. What it is? Hmm. I don't know. Now I'm even wondering if he's actually here. Oh, that's a good question. I couldn't tell you. Uh-uh. I mean, I think, well, I guess it said the funeral was through online, right? Well, do we trust the internet? Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. And we're on the internet. Do you trust us? Don't. Don't trust us. <laughs> lesson. Hard lesson learned today. Yeah. So, we are not at the grave of no. Kobe Bryant. We're just at a really pretty cemetery right now. Yeah, and it's a pretty grave. This uh, Kelly Lee has a really good spot. How would you feel if someone thought your gravesite was a famous gravesite well, that was not yours? How would also, you feel with all the visitors not for you? And and they're disappointed when they're like, who's this? Yeah. That's the response. Who's this? Oh yeah, it's a Google search thing. Where it's, it's not. Kobe Bryant. And, and her, her name. name. Yeah. But you, you learn about her. I learned about her. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like... Uh, I, I've seen your episode about uh, famous versus non-famous uh -huh. graves. I certainly feel like a, a, a grave site is for a memorial. Right. So you want to be memorialized. Right. So you want to be talked about. True. But not necessarily by everybody. I don't know. I guess. Or not people thinking you're someone else. I hope she didn't have that issue in life. Oh, you know, that would you know not how, be like, good. themes can follow people. To the grave. Yeah, kind of like Marilyn Monroe. You know, <laughs> she was a sex symbol in life. and. Yep creepy guy was buried on top of her facing down yeah and Hugh Hefner next to her so huh. oh I thought Hugh got buried on top of her next to her oh. there's a guy Richard Poncher that's his name that oh. asked his wife if he went first to be buried on top of her but the coffin has to face down he seems like a nice husband like a really good guy dutiful probably. wife, yeah. dutiful <laughs> wife. catch along. of the century yup so this is our first uh Thought we got lucky, but the, I guess this is our first um, non-celebrity celebrity grave. It's a famous grave. Yes, yeah. It's now just, it's made been made famous. Yes. Yeah. I am very impressed by what is out there for cemeteries. If you've never been to a big city cemetery, get on it. <laughs> Some of these, this, this, of course, you never know. I haven't been. Uh, there's a sign that says you can inquire within. But Family Plot it said four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's the kind of money I'm looking for in life. <laughs> And I have not her. Actress for hire. Hi. Actress for hire. Who? Lucas. It's me. I'm just wondering how you can, how you get to a place in life where you can afford this. This is probably like a, you think a million dollars for one of these? Well, when did they pass? Because inflation and everything. Let's see what's inside. A million dollars at the time? <laughs> I wouldn't talk about the family necessarily, but I don't know. That's what you think. We're, okay, we're trying to see if we can zoom in on the fact that this crypt has like, it's like a storage, storage facility. I don't think it's going to pick it up though. It's being reflective. Oh, uh, shucks. Okay. So when you come visit, you like go inside the... the I, I guess. The cemetery. I mean, that's kind Maybe of do you have a key? Do you have a key it's like, it's like just stacked there. You know, when it's under the ground, this is like um, a funeral where you go and you're, you're viewing and it's just like right there. I mean, the bodies aren't there. <laughs> oh, you mean like a closed it, casket yes. viewing? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, hey, it's so much more real than just a headstone. I kind of I hope to be as rich to have like a family. That's what house, I want. Though. For some reason, that comforts me. I don't know why. I've I've always I've always thought I was going to be rich. It just has. I've so never it can never happen. once happened in my life. Hey, but I'm tomorrow's like, sure. a new day. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna have. You're a gonna mansion. get discovered on this video. Have a mansion, memorial, and that's okay. You can come and visit. 
Just don't dig me up. I don't want to be dug. That's so weird that people do that. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, that's really bizarre. What are you trying to get? Maybe it's like they want the jewels. Or they just want to see inside. Tell us if you're a both. grave digger. I think it's Answer below in the comments. <laughs> grave diggers, please follow me on social media. I answer all the questions. Yes. Oh, but look like Grimaldi's <laughs> laughing. He <laughs> loves cemeteries. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is so interesting because it's like we were uh, brought to this place, like you notice it's a name, man, and you're yes. like, but who were they? And we don't mean that disrespectfully. Did you but read it, the quote? I don't understand. What does it say? East is east, west is west. Never the twain shall meet. The twain did meet, and it was wonderful. I don't know what that means. Explain it, internet. It meant something to them, though. That's and true. that's what's so interesting about whether business. it's like a big house or like a big monument or a big quote. Yeah. It's like. It's it meant something insight. to them, and it, it, now we're talking about them, which is why I don't like the rule of not filming non-famous graves because we're ta we're remembering that they were alive. We're, we're trying remember. to figure out the mystery of the man family. And now we know. Or in the them. '30s, died about five to ten years ago. Yep. Now we're getting a little history of California and the man family. Yeah, who were they? If you're the relatives, comment. And, <laughs> yeah, no. let us know. If you hate us now. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Please don't. I'm very. We're comedians. We're very fragile. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we we don't want to be disrespectful. I think it's cool, I and mean, we're actually complimenting. It's a really great structure. We're actually very envious. Yeah, we're jealous. We're hating. And we're alive. I know. Oh, wow, that's messed up. But you're right. We're like, we don't have money for this. <laughs> We're poor, though. Those dead people have it so Paul good. So good. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? What's going on after? Well, what do you think? What do you, you're, I think, more well, I spiritual definitely think than there's I am. something. Yeah. Yeah, I think something's going on. I believe, think, oh, so you do, if you don't believe in something happening, do you believe in mediums? You believe? N nope. Okay, but here's my thing with anything spiritual, whether yeah. it's psychics, whether it's mediums, whether it's tarot cards, whether it's the secret. Yeah. I think there are people that have gifts. Oh, yeah. I think most people that charge money do not. <laughs> <laughs> but there are those weird circumstances where things are kooky. Yes. And uh, so, like, I don't want to be dismissive. Right. But I don't, but I think, I think as I am agnostic about what energy and consciousness is. Okay. So, even though I don't really believe in a higher power or an afterlife, that doesn't mean that something's not existing after life in okay. some form. I don't know what that is. Yes. I don't think religion has answered that for me, but like, I'm not opposed to that. That seems out of my scope. Okay. Does that All make right. sense? Yeah. So why mediums? Why did you bring that up? Well, because I do believe in mediums. Ooh, I, I have that. had a friend. I have a friend, and she's not a professional, and she does not charge. Uh, but her fiance passed, and she got very interested in like what oh, happens, wow. what happens after death, that, that whole thing. So she would like look at pictures of people that I, you know, we play kind of like play this game. She like started to like look at pictures and kind of guess what was going on. And then like she got to a place where she'd be like, I feel like this, this is like telling me to reach out to this family member and tell them something, and the family would like be so mm -hmm. grateful. So she she told me about my Patty who passed and. Um, she had um, said some things that I had no idea about. Like, she told my grandpa to stop sending in the dark and to stop chewing tobacco. And I go, oh, that's cute. He, yeah, he, you know, did chew tobacco. And I thought, like, she's probably seen a picture, heard a story, and she thinks that my grandpa chews, and mm -hmm. she's just guessing. And um, I talked to my grandpa, and I said, oh, you know, my friend said that, uh, she said stop chewing tobacco, but you don't chew anymore. He goes, oh, yeah, I've been chewing. Huh. And he That's goes, she always hated the lights being off, and I always liked them off. And I and I said, well, do you turn them on? And he goes, no. <laughs> I said, are you going to? No. <laughs> well, she says to. I know. Yeah. So I believe mm. it. That's interesting. I've recently gotten my first ever tarot card readings. Oh. I'll tell you more in the car because okay. it's personal and I don't want to go into you can't know about the it. internet because I'm actually private. I talk about my dead parents and that's it. And that's Everything all you else can is know. a mystery about me. Yes. Um, What's but, behind the sunglasses? You don't get to know. Never. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't believe in spirit guides at all, but my friend who did the reading does. Yes. Okay. And apparently I have some very temperamental goddess type. Oh. It just wants me to trust her. Okay. And I'm like, well, that's not how my life works. Yeah. No wonder we don't get along and I don't get anything I want in life. Right. But then she was like, I feel like such a hack, but the the two other cards she pulled were my parents and I had a lot of questions. I'm like, well, they haven't been dead my whole life. What does that mean? Yeah. But it wasn't just like 
they were maternal or paternal. It was like specific things the cards represented that she was like, oh, this is definitely the way she's talked about her huh. parents. And I again, I'll, I'll give my parents some privacy. <laughs> I, I won't like go into why that was. Yeah. And she was even saying, I, I think it's like a hack that I'm like, oh, the yeah. girl, the, the orphan girl, <laughs> to dead parents. But like the things that she was picking up on, I'm like, well. I don't think I believe in spirit guides. I wish I did. But yeah. I also think my life would be a lot better if I had spirit guides. Yeah. So I think that's why I'm like, mm. So afterwards you're like still not moved. You're like, this is baloney. I just don't see proof of it. And I guess it makes sense if my parents are around in some capacity. Of course, they're probably watching after me, but I hope they're watching after my brother too. How's it work? Do they do yeah. double duty? Like, I have more questions Time based is... on this reading than I have any kind of belief. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I can be corrected. If you know about spirit guides, answer in the comments. Yeah, tell her. Let's just have that be the theme. For the whole video. <laughs> and everyone answers they yeah. all the questions. All the different, because everyone has a different take on <laughs> yes. it. So that will be bedlam. That will be crazy. <laughs> This is already more successful than the last cemetery I went to of Cozy. Oh, okay. So we found maybe, maybe Kobe Bryant's fake grave. Maybe. <laughs> and John Wade. I'm counting that as one and a half. It's already more successful. Yes. Than Mount Sinai. So it was important for you to see John Wayne's grave. Yes. Why is that? Do you want to elaborate? Because he's the Duke. That. <laughs> My pop is a big uh, Duke fan and watched all his movies and like he's very hard to christmas shop for so we'd like get him the duke movies oh and that was it and he's uh he's right he was he yeah that's i thought of all Pop the is places your dad or your... oh my grandpa okay i was pretty sure that's what you meant but i was like wait i'm gonna clear just in case <laughs> he passed away recently right yes oh well that's nice that you get to yeah. honor him this way yeah cowboy stuff We'll have to get a photo of you in front of the grave and send it to your mom. Yes, I think she'd like it. I think yeah. she'd actually like this because like we, we were talking about off camera, the time that we spent at like comfort level in a cemetery. Yeah. How normal is it? Like right. growing up, I would always be at the cemetery with my great grandma. Like she just would make sure that the graves were taken care of of family members so nice. and other people. And so I would be there just walking around and looking at headstones and trying to sort out their life and they're interesting yeah it's, yeah I remember I grew up a mile from a cemetery my yeah. friend Lauren and I would bike to the general store pencil tucky yes. hashtag pencil tucky yeah. and it was right by the general store and we would sometimes um after getting candy oh yummy we would go in the cemetery and it's you were sort of saying this too like there's children's graves right yeah. so if you're like 10 or 11 or so 12 sad. you're like whoa this person's my age or i'm older than them and yeah you, you wonder who they were yeah. and it's uh a fact of life but some people are not like us and did not grow up in cemetery yeah i guess not well if you did it it's okay you missed out <laughs> and it, it is interesting like there's a grave right there 1889 it's it's, it's history and yeah, um, born in to be fair, it is California. <laughs> it's rare to find eighteen and hundreds death dates in yeah. California graves. I didn't know that because it's not as like populated. Whereas like where I'm from, like Revolutionary War graves, and then where you're from in Oklahoma, yeah. whatever. A little bit after that, Clark, who was on the Holy Cross episode. Uh, he's from California. I've been to many cemeteries with him socially. Yes. And he talks about, because our, our good friend Jen Curcio is from Philly like me. Okay. And he's like, that just weirds me out so much that there's graves from the 1700s. <laughs> like, that just weird, because California exists. feels new and not permanent. And Oh, yeah. Like, he, I've heard him say that a lot. So, yeah, I always know when it's like, ooh, born in 1898. It's like, that's an oldie. Yeah. Compared to where I'm from, it's not. <laughs> but it's, Yeah. What do you California. think a grave here was back then? What do you mean? What do you? How much do you think it cost? Oh, ooh, that's a good question. Dollar. That's Can a lot imagine? of money. in 1989. Now it buys you fries at McDonald's. <laughs> Times have changed. I really want in to look up way. grave inflation. That kind of fascinates me now. Okay, maybe maybe you will, and maybe you'll share. Kristen's cleaning, quiet riots, heavy metal, 
Kevin Mark DeBro's grave because she was a great girl like that. <laughs> but yes, of course, I had to go find the heavy metal yes. rave. This was the only one that was kind of hard to find. It's in the smallest section, though, even though it's not well labeled. So that's yes. how we, I stumbled upon it. Corner, pocket. Mm hmm. Yes. I don't want to get in the way. But also, he's buried next to his stepfather who has the exact same first and middle name as my dad. Yeah. He went by Hardy, but he was Harold Ed Harold Edward, so. Does that do anything to your heart for like a symbol or anything? Off camera, we were talking a lot about symbols. Yes. And like. Do you have them? Do you get them? Well, she has them. I get them. Pennies and ladybugs are her thing. Yes. Yeah, so pennies and ladybugs are a symbol for my pop. And when we went to John Wayne's um, plot, sure. is that the right? Yeah, gravesite plot. When we yeah. went to John Wayne's gravesite, there was a penny heads up, which you've talked about on another episode. It has mm -hmm. has different meanings, but pennies are um, sometimes symbols from for the, from the afterlife. And um, the the two symbols, the ladybugs, was um, one of my pop's best friends gave a speech at his funeral, talked about ladybugs, and as she was writing it he had already told her that, that he liked the symbolism of ladybug and how it means that there's that life will go on and everything will be okay and then as she was writing the speech that she was going to give at his service ladybugs like flew like were all around her on her hand as she was writing and all over her window so which she has images of it's true it's a fact and then so another person was talking about symbols of money and different coins and how relatives have shown them that and we were teasing that my grandpa's would be a penny because he was like he liked to save money and we got into a truck that had been recently detailed and there was a penny in the cup holder so today was a penny heads up and we're talking yeah. about symbols yeah she was asking if i have symbols and long story short not really um I don't know if, again, if it would be the same takeaway as you. I think with the name Harold Edward, I just think it's cool. Yeah. But also sadistic sadistically. Ugh. Statistically. <laughs> and was, sadistically. Oh, he was born in 1926. Wow. He was like my grandparents' age. Um, I was going to say, <laughs> a lot of men in the 1950s were probably Harold Edward. Um, or even actually the 1920s because that's, I think, a good Harold name. and Edward. Strong I think name. Harold's an older name than the 50s. Yeah. My dad always thought it was outdated. That's why he went by Hardy. Well, I don't know where he got that name actually, but he always went by Hardy and he <laughs> preferred it over Harold. I know that okay. much. Okay. Harold does seem like an older man. Yeah. So he, it feels more just like a kawinky dink. That's fun. <laughs> Not a winky wink from the I beyond. <laughs> my dad didn't even know who Ozzy Osbourne was. Like we'd watch the Osbournes. He's like, who is this? Who's this guy who's got and problems? Like, dad, you went to college in the seventies. I know you listened to Motown. You never left the fifties, but like, or sixties. But like, yeah, he wasn't um as wild and crazy as his daughter. Oh, and yet he was more wild and crazy because I don't drink or do drugs. He wow. didn't do drugs, but very into uh, um, punk and metal. So. My dad, not so much. So I think this is just funny. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And it was the hardest one to find. For, to me, yeah. like, there's your wink. But it's, I know. it's definitely maybe. in 1997. And, yeah. But maybe life, maybe life brought you here to just get a think about dad. Yeah. The music and memories of Bono. I just read that. I wasn't, I was distracted. Oh, Love yes. it. His death bums me out because he died of substance abuse oh. stuff. He was, it was an accidental overdose. And I've said this, I think at DJ AM's grave. No one wants us to come to their demons. And I think he was on record saying that, like, he wanted to make lifestyle changes. Mm. And it, it bums me out when it's too little too late. I don't want to sell out the people who passed in my life. Not my dad. I'm going to rule that out. But there are people that died of substance abuse that I know. And they were getting it together and it was too little too late. So whether it's DJ AM who um, had it kicked for a while and relapsed or whether it's Kevin Mark Dubro, his full name, and he was talking about making changes, but wasn't able to live to make those changes. It hurts my heart. Yeah, <laughs> like it really hurts Very my heart. Sad. Like, but I will say, um, alternatively, in the fifth grade, a girl said to me, "How do you want to die?" And I it was like, "I don't know." And she's like, "I want to die of an OD." And I was like, "Oh, what is wow. that?" In fifth grade. Yeah. Wow. She had a she had a she had a wild life. She does drugs now. So hopefully she doesn't, and maybe she, maybe that is still her goal. I don't why know. Why did she want to die? Did she just well, idolize? Well, I'll tell you why, because okay. I said what it was. I asked her what it was, and she's like, you just t take drugs, and then you fall asleep. So she that was her that was her goal in the fifth grade. Die after a party. I mean, don't love it. Yeah. 
Anyway, these are great childhood memories. <laughs> that again, some inside here, kids. Uh, all about her. <laughs> Yes, I've been to a place where we're supposed to remember other people and I've made it about myself. Oh, that's just the way of life though. <laughs> that's what we all do, right? Yeah. No, there's a way to do that. I think that's int I, I mean, this is also comedy. It's, yeah, it's heavy, grave topics, heavy. pun intended, but yep. it's lighthearted too because it's a fact of life and so yeah. let's talk about it and that's a part of talking about it. Yes. Talking about your fifth grade peers wanting to OD. I know. I know. Hmm. I'm going to be thinking about that one for a while. Yeah, but chew on it. I think I am right now. <laughs> but yeah, very, very sad. Back to the, the Back deceased to that we are um, yeah, honoring. Seems cool. Seems like yeah. a cool dude and a rough way to go. I don't know. Yeah. There's probably a lot of great ways to end it. I don't think so. Yeah. But I mean, the music and memories of on, as yeah. it says, it's true. I love that he allegedly recorded the cover of Come On, Feel the Noise because he hated it so much so he did it so bad that he thought the label would pass on it fun fact there's just something very rock and roll about that to me yeah it's kind of like when i saw the Lemonheads do is the album it's a shame about ray break i'm always such a space cadet in cemeteries but they did a they did an anniversary tour of an album mm-hmm. and it was the one that Mrs. Lemonheads anniversary tour of um the one with mrs robinson the cover on it <laughs> okay. that was an american pie and they didn't play it and i was like good for you lemonheads good for you you're known for that cover you're better than that cover i am with you so i respect kevin for putting up a little bit of a diva fight about recording that if he didn't like the song yeah and it kind of sucks it's their most famous song rights. now <laughs> yeah, another 80s one. gem um <laughs> Man, may he rest. He's buried next to his stepfather, who was a rabbi, and we we're talking about how there's just not a lot of nice Jewish boys in heavy metal, which I think there should be. I think that's a crime against nature. Yes. All right, may he rest. Yes. So, how do you want to be buried and cremated? <laughs> Dark and mysterious, and yet so appropriate. <laughs> I didn't tell her what I was going to ask, so I turned on the camera. I'm like, I'm just going to ask you a question. She springered me. She, uh, Jerry, Jerry springered. springered. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, you know, I saw something about those trees. Mm. You, you can become a tree. Yeah. That seems rad and circle of lifey. Yeah. But I'm sure I'll go maybe an old fashioned way. I guess it depends on if I'm this level of, of <laughs> money or if I'm my fantasy level of money. If I'm fantasy level, I'm, I'm having a house that has storage right. like the, the man's. <laughs> yes, it had storage like the man. They had brooms and boxes and a lamp. Crypt. Yeah, it was a lot. I wish we yeah, could show you. It was very King Tut. Very come, King Tut. That's what I'm talking about, where it's like a whole uh, thing. Although yeah. it's not usually written on like that, but we're looking at different cemeteries. We were talking about this. different. She was talking about full grave. Gravestones. Yeah. I, I, thought, I didn't know what she meant at first. Now I do. <laughs> now we know. But. Have you talked about how you want to? Uh, I mean, I have fantasies, but I haven't committed it to paper. <laughs> but I think I need money, though. Fantasy. I know. That's so I want to be in a wall. Like, right now. It, like, I don't want to be in the ground. I want to be in a wall, but I don't want to be cremated. The most, yeah, the most, like, what I can do right now is probably cremation. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. That's only, like, a thousand. <laughs> um, do you want to be here or in Oklahoma? Oh, you know, hard is in Oklahoma right now. Ooh. But, I, you yeah, know, I'm a married woman, so I've had to, like see where the old partner wanted to be well, that'd be funny if you and if patrick and your mom run to, got into a fight about your romance <laughs> like anna nicole smith in the bahamas her mom wanted her to go back to texas and her lover was like not in the bahamas i didn't know this oh yeah it was a drama it was a drama drama I, I like things are usually more affordable in oklahoma so That's true. i don't know I don't know where, where I will remain. Well, get on it. <laughs> I gotta start thinking. Think ahead. You could die any day now. Every day we're closer to death. <laughs> I am such a good girl. <laughs> Snuggle up, bitch. Snuggle <laughs> up. I'll just leave my head here. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to our outro. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, that kind of wraps up our day yes. at Pacific View. We just realized there is literally an ocean view. There is Cameron an ocean view. Cameron will not pick it up because of smog, so I'm not going to subject you to it. Like, trust me. You can footage. look it up online. <laughs> yeah, because it's on a hill and it overlooks um, kind of a ways away, but nonetheless, you can see ocean. There's an ocean. How does this rank for you in terms of, because you, you seemed like it was like mostly 
Oklahoma cemeteries that you've been through too. Yeah, but I definitely have been to other ones. I believe you. I just don't know why. Why? I mean, there's the Hollywood Forever that's very, mm -hmm. very famous. famous, and but I, yeah, for some reason I don't remember them all that much. This one, I'll, I think I'll forever remember. It's always going to be remembered. It's funny you said it's like the biggest one. Where I think this is the third smallest one. Hollywood Forever might be bigger. It's hard to tell because there's so many buildings. Size queens. I know. Always comparing the sizes of things. <laughs> I'm just happy it was small, said no girl ever. Yeah. Because no. it was easier to find. Yeah. <laughs> Slash, and it's not even small. It's not, this is not small. It's this very like, not small. No. But compared to some of these monster cemeteries we've been to, it's. Yeah, I gotta really see small. the, I gotta see these monsters. <laughs> I gotta yeah, you, see the big yeah, monsters. <laughs> um, but it's like, it's also very well labeled. Oh yeah, I like. I do think it's very so well. Lovely. Somebody cares that's running this. That's nice. Yes, it's great for people that want to lurk around a cemetery and find people mm -hmm. like myself and any given guest. Yeah, um, Kevin Debro was the only one that was a little tricky to find because it was tricky. like numbers tricky, and tricky. letters that didn't totally correspond. But the Garden of David, which is where he is, in case yes. you're watching and looking, yeah, is a really small section. So you can just hoof it and yeah. look down, and you'll you'll all of a sudden there he was so like four rows or so yeah it wasn't too bad at all um so like i actually it's nice because i've been on a kick where i haven't loved every cemetery i've been to <laughs> it's breaking few, the spell yeah i don't know if this is like my new favorite but this was a nice like reprieve it was like oh yeah. this is a delightful time and you were delightful company so thank you not that any guests are bad company but yeah, yeah they're watching just, they're like why she didn't say that to me she didn't like my company. <laughs> Yay! Uh, uh, oldest friend status. In yeah. California. <laughs> California elder. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it it was just so. I, it, I don't know. We weren't. I don't even know what time it is. But we weren't here for that long. But it was a good good chunk of the day. I think we're after three. Oh, yeah, four after four. four you got oh, here around, one. I think we got here after two because we made a pit stop or two. Oh. Two hours is not bad for a medium to big size cemetery. That's medium, actually- Medium, psychic medium. We're going back to the medium. Callbacks, comedy <laughs> callbacks. But yeah, it's it's that. And um, we only had a few people to be fair, but I think even if we had 10 people, I think because it's so well we labeled, got we would have maybe run out of time, but we would have found them. It wouldn't I have been so. like a disaster. So if you want your relatives to find you, be buried at Pacific View. Yeah, that's our review. We're not being paid. We aren't. I mean, <laughs> if they want to pay for advertising, I'll accept it. I'm starving artist. But yeah. It's, we charge uh, one family plot, which is worth half a million dollars, which is a very good rate. We're reasonable. Very reasonable. <laughs> oh my God. Well, thank you so much for. Thank you. Thanks for having uh, me. Thanks yeah. for watching me. You. <laughs> thank you for watching, and you for watching, and you for watching. I'm assuming not, I'm not that, in not, the center. Not you. Yeah. You. You know Ew. who you are. You know <laughs> who you are and why we're not thrilled yet you're yeah, watching. I know. I hope that really does make someone be like, what? I know. I, I messed up. JK, I love all my viewers. <laughs> Speaking of, stay alive until next time.